नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू आवर थर्ड प्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज कंपाउंड लिपिड्स अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लिपिड्स सीरीज एस्टर्स ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स विथ एल्कोहल्स एंड पॉजिटिव एडिशनल ग्रुप्स आर कॉल्ड एज कंपाउंड लिपिड्स इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू मेनली टू टाइप क्लासेस फॉस्पोलिपिड्स दैट इज फॉस्पाटिड्स एंड ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स दैट इज सेरेब्रोसाइड्स फॉस्पोलिपिड्स दीज आर कंपाउंड्स कंटेनिंग इन एडिशन टू फैटी एसिड्स एंड ग्लिसरॉल फॉस्फोरिक एसिड नाइट्रोजन बेसिस एंड अदर सब्सटेंट्स वेर एज ग्लाइकोलिपिड्स आर कंपाउंड्स ऑफ फैटी एसिड्स विथ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स एंड कंटेन नाइट्रोजन बट नो फॉस्फोरिक एसिड so glycolipids also include certain structurally related compounds comprising the groups gangliosides sulfolipids and sulfatids so first one is phospholipids that is also called as phosphatids these are the most abundant membrane lipids they serve primarily as structural components of membranes and are never stored in large quantities they contains phosphorus in the form of phosphoric acid groups they differ from triglycerides in possessing in possessing usually one hydrophilic polar head group and usually two hydrophobic non polar tails they are often also called as polar lipids phospholipids are amphiphatic whereas the storage lipids are not that is triglyceride and waxes are not amphiphatic in nature in phospholipids two of the oh groups in glycerol are linked to fatty acids while the third oh group is linked to phosphoric acid the phosphate is further linked to one of a variety of small polar head groups that is alcohols here is a typical structure of phospholipids uh, this upper portion it is called as hydrophilic head and the lower portion is hydrophilic tail the hydrophilic head it consists of a phosphate group this is a phosphate group which is attached to some other uh, alkyl groups can be attached to some other groups uh, this is a structure of glycerol that is typical glycerol and this glycerol this 2 oh group uh, hydrophilic tails are attached that is fatty acids are attached it may be saturated fatty acid it may be unsaturated fatty acid so a phospholipid is a molecule with two fatty acids and a modified phosphate group attached to a glycerol backbone the phosphate may be modified by addition of charged or polar chemical groups classification of phospholipids uh, it is of three types phosphoglycerides phosphoinositides and phosphospingosides phosphoglycerides these are the major phospholipids found in membranes and contain two fatty acid molecules or tails esterified to the first and second hydroxyl groups of glycerol the third hydroxyl group of glycerol forms in ester linkages with phosphoric acids so this is glycerol plus fatty acids this is phosphoric acid and to these phosphoric acid a choline group is attached in addition phosphoglycerides contain a second alcohol which is also esterified to the phosphoric acid this is referred to as head alcohol group as it is present at the one end it is head of the long phosphoglyceride molecule a uh, phosphate group alone attached to a diacylglycerol does not qualify as a phospholipid it is phosphatid date that is diacylglycerol 3 phosphate the precursor of phospholipids the phosphate group is modified by an alcohol phosphatidyl choline and phosphatidyl serine are two important phospholipids that are found in plasma membranes a phospholipid is an amphiphatic molecule meaning it has a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic part the fatty acid chains are hydrophobic and cannot interact with water whereas the phosphate containing group is hydrophilic and interacts with water phosphoinositides cytides for phosphatidyl 
inositols phospho inositides have been found to occur in phospholipids of brain tissue and are of considerable importance because of their role in transport process in cells a cyclic hexahydroxy alcohol called inositol replaces base this inositol is present as the stereoisomer myo ion inositol on hydrolysis the phosphoinositides yield one mole of glycerol two moles of fatty acid one mole of inositol and one two or three moles of phosphoric acid these compounds are commonly found in nerve tissue sp nerve tissue for example in the myelin sheath of nerve and apparently lack in plants and the microorganisms in a syndrome called neiman pick disease the sphingomyelins are stored in the brain in large quantities these differ from other phospholipids in their lack of glycerol and the presence of another nitrogenous base sphingosin or a closely related di hydrosphingosin besides choline in place of glycerol sphingomyelins are electrically charged molecules and contain phosphocholine as their polar head groups on hydrolysis the phosphosphingosides yield equimolar amounts of fatty acid phosphoric acid choline and sphingosin or dihydrosphingosin but no glycerol second type was glycolipids that is cerebroside or glycosphingosides the cerebroside's as the name suggests are important constituent of brain where they amount to about 8% of solid matter these may also occur in tissues other than brain so since cerebroside's are found in brain cerebrum region of brain so that's why it is also called as cerebroside's since the head group characteristically consists of one or more sugar units cerebrocytes are often called as glycosphingosides like phospholipids glycolipids are composed of a hydrophobic region containing two long hydrocarbon tails and a polar region which now contains one or more sugar residues and no phosphate both phospholipids and glycolipids form self sealing lipid bilayers that are the basis for all cellular membranes in gausser disease the cerebrocytes appear in relatively large amount in the liver and spleen they are also present in large amount in the brain in neiman pick diseases these are present in much higher concentration in medulated than in non medulated nerve fibers there is evidence that they also occur in some plant organs structure of cerebrocyte or glycolipids to be continue thank you in our next slide we will discuss about the third type of lipids thank you